My name is John Cones. I am, hold myself out as a securities entertainment attorney in the sense that I do securities work for low-budget independent film producers all over the country. Uh, I've spent 23 years in, in Los Angeles, but uh, it, it's, it's interesting and I think relative um, to what we're talking about today that about how I got into the film industry. I, I was uh, working as a securities attorney in Houston, Texas with another attorney. We were doing in those days, it's back in the mid 80s, we were doing tax shelters uh, as limited partnerships, uh, you know, oil, oil fill, you know, uh, oil and gas deals, equipment leasing, real estate, and a few little movie deals came through. And that's when I first learned that some independent films are financed outside the film industry using uh, investors outside the, the uh, film industry and using the limited partnership as the investment vehicle. And that involves a sale of a security, units in a limited partnership of security. So that's how I got, got involved with the film industry. And, but Congress at that time passed the Tax Reform Act of 1986, eliminating those tax shelter benefits, and most of that work went away <laughs> overnight. And so I'm sitting there trying to reconfigure my law practice. Well, shortly after that, OPEC, the, the uh, international oil cartel, flooded the world oil markets with cheap oil and created a, at least a regional recession in the so-called oil patch, uh, Texas and Oklahoma and Louisiana, states that were highly dependent on the oil industry. And so Houston wasn't a good place to be reconfiguring my law practice, so I had the bright idea that I would go to Los Angeles and <laughs> work with low-budget independent feature film producers in helping them comply with the federal and state securities laws when they raise money from investors outside of the film industry. And uh, so that's what I did. I went out there in 1987 um, and immediately started giving lectures on film finance. And I called it like investor financing of independent film using a limited partnership or something like that. So these independent producers, many of whom were there, some are scattered all over the country, but they would come in for these lectures and I would talk to them about film finance and their secure securities compliance obligations. I kept getting the same two questions from all of these independent producers consistently over time. First question is, what is Hollywood accounting? Or what is, what is creative accounting? Hollywood creative accounting. And I didn't know, and I had to admit, I don't know, I'll look into it. Uh, and the second question was, do Jews control Hollywood? And again, I did not know. And so uh, I, as an attorney, one of the things we are trained to do as attorneys is do research and look into, into subjects uh, that are of interest. Um, and of course, I also had a background as a radio television news reporter for about six years in Texas. And so I was equipped to do the research and do the writing. And so I set out to do that. As I was building my law practice, I set out to do this research and writing and that uh, uh, has led me to, uh, I guess I have written about 15 books on the topic of Hollywood or the film business, business and legal aspects of it as opposed to the glamour side, and about 10 of them have been published over the years, so, uh, so we can talk about that.